nestled in the scenic Wasatch Front, the 4500 South Bridge over I-215 East is being replaced using an innovative process called Accelerated Bridge Construction, or ABC, which allows for the building of a new bridge in a staging area until it is moved into place. The existing bridge is old and is being replaced with a single span bridge that is the same size as the current one. Vehicles will continue to use 4500 South and I-215 while the new bridge and abutments are being built. The abutments, as seen from 215, will contain artistic reliefs, helping the new structure to blend in with its picturesque surroundings. During excavation, soil nail walls are used to stabilize the west and east sides while traffic moves overhead. The staging area is located between the interstate and the southbound off-ramp to 4500 South in what is known as the Ramp Gore area. The lower portion is graded to match the elevation of the southbound I-215 roadway and the higher portion matches the elevation of northbound I-215. Temporary abutments are erected to allow construction of the superstructure, which is the primary support for the new bridge. Steel plate girders are laid across the temporary abutments and then a cast-in-place deck is placed on the girders along with integral end diaphragms. The completed five-lane bridge weighs 3 million pounds, is 172 feet long, and rests on a 12% slope. A self-leveling trailer with multiple axles and wheels called a self-propelled modular transporter, or SPMT, is used to remove the old spans and move in the new one. Freight containers fill the gap between the trailer and the bridge bottom. The SPMT is controlled by remote control as the operator walks along with the trailer. Once under the northbound deck, the operator backs the SPMT out and carries the span to a demolition area. The special demolition area is located just beyond the staging area and all demolition work will be done after the new bridge is in place and traffic is flowing again. The SPMT operator follows the same procedure for the southbound span across I-215, removing the deck and carting it off to the demolition area. The next step is to remove the rest of the old bridge and the bents. During this conventional demolition, extra care is taken to avoid damage to the new abutments on both the west and east sides. The final step before bringing in the new span is to remove the existing columns that supported the old bridge. In the staging area, near where the new span sits, a temporary ramp is set up to allow the SPMT trailers on the high portion of the staging area to travel onto the northbound roadway. The SPMTs are moved into position under the new span and the bridge is lifted off of the temporary abutments. Jacks tilt the bridge to a 4% tilt to compensate for the 4% grade of the I-215 roadway. This allows the bridge to be level as the SPMTs travel downhill toward the new abutments. The bridge span is backed out onto the interstate while the ramp is removed so that the SPMTs can pass. And then the bridge is moved into place and set down on the new abutments. I-215 under 4500 South will be closed and reopened to traffic after one weekend. Traditional methods would have resulted in traffic impacts for nine months. 4500 South remains closed for approximately 10 days while the abutments are backfilled and precast concrete bridge approach panels are put in place. An asphalt roadway, barrier, curb and gutter and sidewalks are tied into the bridge. The next steps include a polymer overlay of the deck and lane striping. Once those tasks are complete, traffic is flowing freely again on 4500 South and I-215. The final step is to restore the site with landscaping. This accelerated bridge construction is expected to be complete by mid-November 2007. The benefits of Accelerated Bridge Construction, ABC, include minimizes traffic disruptions, 
improves work zone safety, and reduces on-site construction time.